Now more results coming in, heading to the 15th congressional district here, and Mary Miller defeating Rodney Davis here with 58%. That is one of the big surprises of the night, no question about that. Let's take a look at the 7th congressional district right now. This is a very close race between Danny Davis and Keena Collins with 91% reporting this race has still not been called. A field of Republicans fighting for a chance to take on one of the incumbent Democrats in the 6th district congressional race. This is in the western suburbs. And as you can see here, Keith Pacow winning with 46% in the Republican side of this 6th district race. And those two Democratic incumbents you spoke of, Sean Caston and Marie Newman, competing against each other because of a remapping decision. And here are those results with uh, nearly all precincts reporting here. Sean Caston with 68% comes away with the win and Chris Ty has been live at Marie Newman's headquarters in suburban countryside and Chris she gave actually a, a pretty upbeat concession speech. She did and she did that just after nine o'clock tonight Joe and Erica. This is a unique race. The only one tonight anywhere in the state where two Democratic incumbents went head to head to retain a spot in the US Congress. It was because of the redrawing of that map where the third congressional district representative Marie Newman was facing off against the current sixth congressional district representative Caston and tonight Caston was the winner. As we said just after nine o'clock Marie Newman talked about the phone call that she placed to her Democratic colleague. I just got off the phone with Congressman Kasten and I congratulated him on winning this race. While this is not the result we wanted, we now have to unite. And I know that's going to hurt a little bit for some folks, but I really need you to do it because the Democratic Party really needs you and we all need to be together and we need to be united. There was no victory party tonight for Congressman Caston because of the death of his daughter earlier this month. However, he issued a statement saying to all who have reached out in recent weeks with their condolences, prayers, support and love. My family and I are forever grateful more than anything else. Thank you to all who participated in this election. You are the reason democracy works. As you noted, Keith Pickow, the mayor of Orland Park now awaits uh, Congressman Caston. The question now looms. What is next for Marie Newman? Only time will tell that. And of course, we'll continue to follow that story as well. For now, live in Countryside, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. All right. Thank you, Chris. Let's bring our panel back in. And Pat, let's start with District 15. Uh, Mary Miller not only won, but she won big against Rodney Davis, who was well known and a, a current member of Congress. One of the best political operatives in Congress and worked that district previously for John Shimkus, ran for Senate 25 years ago himself. So this is a big night, but I think this again reflects what I was talking about in the previous segment, the realignment of the Republican Party. It truly, south of I-80, is the party of Donald Trump. Explain that. Well, it's just that's a district that actually is not super Trumpy. It's a Trump district, but not super Trumpy. Mm -hmm. And she won. That's a big that's mm -hmm. a big victory against a very, very good candidate who outspent her uh, substantially. So that, that was the surprise of the night for me. Yeah. And, and with her, you mentioned the endorsement. She's also made some quite controversial comments recently. Um, Maybe invoking Hitler. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> that never is a good idea. No, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> and more so recently, there were some other comments that she had to later apologize or actually run the Hitler comment. She apologized and then some other things came out well, with she's Roe v. Wade. The, excuse me, but she's the far right crazy wing of the Republican Party. She's the Marjorie Taylor Greene bomb throwing part of the party that it's really I think does not do us well yeah. reputationally. I mean it hurts mm -hmm. fundraising. It hurt, it's just not it's not a serious member of Congress. Right. She's better than Marjorie Taylor Greene but not much. much and, and she does it shows like no censor at all. So even after she says these things, they're really, I mean, she apologized for Hitler, but she didn't apologize for what she just said. She said she misspoke. Right, right. and white saying life. white life white instead life. of right to life. Yeah. But, the, but from an Illinois perspective, she'll get no leadership roles. She'll just always be one of these bomb throwers that raises money, but won't ever really have any effect in Congress. And they're there to represent us. Mm -hmm. Right. It's important, so especially for Republicans. We've lost seats. So this is not, and Rodney would have been that person who actually is one of the most bipartisan members of Congress. So in my opinion, that's, that's that's bad for the state of Illinois. What happens in District 6, do you think, Kimberly? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm I'm paying attention to this, and I really feel like Sean Caston has proven himself um, 
as a congressman. I think that um, he is extreme. He, he's very smart and he's very well liked and has made a lot of uh, really interesting policy decisions there. I, I'm thinking he is definitely going to pull that off. All right. And I hope he Pat? spends the next three months grieving. I mean, that, that yeah. what he Yeah, because we haven't even discussed that. The yeah. fact that he he's, lost his daughter just a week mm -hmm. or so, two weeks ago. And, and I know they're very close. That's the, just a tragedy. I can't yeah. imagine the pain he's going through right now. So I'm sorry, Sean. Sean's a good guy. Yeah. All right. And then quickly, uh, District 1, do you think Jackson holds on there? Yes. Definitely, he will be going to Congress. He, I mean, the general election right. um, in in November. That's just a technicality. He mm -hmm. definitely will be going to Congress, representing. But once again, no woman from the first congressional district. There's never been a woman in mm. that office. Now